Friends and family may be familiar with who Zags are, but what does being a Zag mean? Let's break it down in terms of Goffman, Foucault, and Saussure. Goffman's theory of framing states how the way we see the world is how we frame the world. Gonzaga students receive a frame revolving around the school's mission, which establishes how they are seen as being a Zag on and off campus. In addition, Foucault notes how discourses within communities create a particular reality, and that institutions themselves normalize the ideas within these realities. For Zags, being compassionate and driven students are both highly normalized qualities. Zags are typically involved in activities that allow them to engage in holistic growth and to expand their passions to impact the world. This may be in the form of clubs, social events, service events, and sporting events that they participate in. Saussure explains how we use signs to convey meaning. Meanings are produced within history and culture. Some signs that can be observed at Gonzaga include Zag gear to signify school spirit, holding open doors which signifies courtesy, and crosses in all classrooms to signify that we are at a Catholic Jesuit university. Through Goffman's theory of framing, Foucault's thoughts on discourse, and Saussure's explanation of signs, we can come to understand that being a Zag is about the processes and communication practices we repeat on a daily basis.